Happy Tuesday. Hope everyone's doing well this evening. It's kind of a late video, so my lighting's kind of funky, but I had to get on and jump on because it is day 13 of my 14 day challenge and I was not going to miss a day. Not really feeling it today, but doing it anyway because um, that's how we roll, right? Um, today I am doing a video on procrastination, which is not why I'm doing my video late. I just have kind of spaced about it and had things to do today and had people over and I've just been busy. Um, but I just wanted to talk today about procrastination. I heard a guy talking about it and I thought, you know what? That is something that everyone can relate to. I believe at some point in their life, everybody has gone through this. Um, and it doesn't mean you're lazy. Sometimes you just have different reasons for putting things off. Hi, Teresa. Um, thanks for always watching my videos. I appreciate you. Anyway, so procrastination does not mean you're lazy. It just means that there are things that you put it off. But did you know that procrastination can cause stress and anxiety? It can make you not sleep well. It can cause problems with your gut. Hi, Tisha. I recognize your cute girls in your little bubble. <laughs> um, anyway, and so you don't want to procrastinate because it can make you be very unhealthy if you put things off, especially if they're important. And that's going to cause you stress because you're not getting those things done. So a few of the things that you can do to um, stop procrastinating. I talked about this on another live. I can't remember which one it was. I've done a whole bunch of them. Um, but anyway, was to pick out the top three things that are most important to you to get done for the day. And what I like to do is when I make my to-do list, I take a highlighter and I put the top three. And then as those three get crossed off, I highlight the next top three. And as those get crossed off, and just keep working through your list. I Like I said in my planner video, I am a list person, 100%. If I put it on the list, it will get done. Um, if it doesn't, I will probably forget. But so step one is to make a list. And step two is to kind of prioritize that list so you know what you need to get done. If you're a morning person, maybe start your list in the morning. I love to get done and get a ton of stuff done before I go to work so I can relax at night. Other people might want to do things when they get home from work because it's too early in the morning to get the dishes done or the laundry or whatever the items are on your list. Um, but I am an early morning person. I like to get up and get some things done. So that works for me. Um, but it did talk about deciding um, what times of the day you're most productive or you're in the best mood. So I love to be up before everybody else and kind of get my chores done. Um, the second thing is sometimes part of the reason people procrastinate is because they're overwhelmed by how huge this project is or how big the job is. If you look at it and say, I have to clean the whole house today, I'm not going to get much done because it sounds terrifying. If you say, today I need to vacuum the living room and wash the dishes and take out the kitchen garbage, break things down and make it smaller, um, that's going to be a lot easier for you to be like, hey, I can get that done. I can, I can do that. I can get that checked off. When my kids were little, especially Laura, um, I would tell her, sorry, I would just let her know, go get your dirty clothes, put in the laundry basket, then come back to me. Go put your clean clothes in your dresser, then come back to me. Go make your bed, then come back to me. And I do that with my team at work when I'm delegating jobs. It's like, go get this done and then come tell me when you're done and I'll tell you your next job. I'm not going to say you need to do this, 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 and this because they're going to be like, where do I start? And maybe they won't. So break it up into smaller things on your list. I think that helps. And hi, Chris. And so I think, I was just saying, yeah, break it down. I think that helps a little bit make it not so overwhelming and not so scary when you have small things to do. So that's a good one. And number three was to kind of reward yourself in little ways along the way. So as you get your list checked off, be like, you know what? I washed the dishes. I'm going to have an ice cream sandwich. Or I cleaned whatever room it was or wrote that essay. I'm going to go buy myself a cute pair of earrings or... Whatever it is, obviously you don't want to have to go out to the store and get away from your list and interrupt your day and you're getting things done. But, you know, just little rewards along the way. They always say, you know, don't wait till the very end when everything's done. Celebrate every small win. So if you've got one thing done and you have one check mark, do something nice for yourself, whatever that is. Everybody has different ideas on things like that. Um, I did take some notes. I just wanted to make sure I got everything. But yeah, so you want to be healthy. So don't procrastinate if you can help it. Like I said, that doesn't mean you're lazy and everybody does it at some point. But keep your gut healthy and to sleep better and to 
just be a happier person all around if you're not thinking about that task that you've been supposed to be getting done. Um, try not to procrastinate, but if you do, you know, we still love you. Anyway, that was my Tuesday talk today. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good night.